All right, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another video and we are going to be talking about the Eagle Bearer because if you guys aren't currently aware, the title update 6 PTS has dropped a couple of days ago and we've had a bit of time to play around and see what's going on. And yes, so the Eagle Bearer has been nerfed by 15% just its base damage which puts it in line with the custom p416 which in itself is still an outlier when you compare it to the rest of the assault rifle category and well and many other weapons in the game and so we you know we have two guns which are basically almost as good as each other in fact the p4 is actually now a stronger weapon because if you consider the fact that it can roll not only allegro but another damage talent which you know they've been buffed if you guys aren't aware the regular talents have been buffed. We have many talents now that were absolute rubbish, like Breadbasket was trash. Breadbasket is now a talent which you can use to basically hit almost headshot levels of damage while mixing body shots and headshots, which just doesn't make any sense. I mean, <laughs> and then we have the status effect talents, such as Ignited, Eyeless, and Sadist, which now hit 30%. Which means, and that's multiplicative by the way. So if you can get some status effect synergy going on, man. You, if you're an Eagle Bearer user, you're not going to be able to co compete unless you have the buff. Now the buff is going to make you strong. The buff is what makes this weapon in the first place. The buff is what I think needed to be adjusted, not the base damage. I mean, I, adju adjusting the base damage just makes no sense at all. Just nerf the buff. The damage mitigation was very, very balanced in Title Update 4. You see, in Title Update 4, things like Unbreakable were a thing, which meant that, you know, everyone had Unbreakable, right? So everyone had, on tap, 170% armor. You know, the armor you start with and the 70 you get from Unbreakable. If you were running Survivalist, you would get something like 85% from Unbreakable, because that multiplied. Still does. Um, if you had a Hive, you were healing 25% of your armor a tick, roughly, if you had the good Hive mod. That's, this is Title Update 4. And the footage you are watching is Title Update 4, just so, um, just so you guys know. And the chem launchers and your medkits and your teammates' medkits. Over the course of a 10 second buff in Title Update 4, or even Title Update 3, it's very feasible that you would actually reach about 400% armour. Uh, you know, you would end up, you know, actually utilising about 400% armour. Which meant that over the course of that 400% armour, you could take so much damage that at the end of the buff, you you were going to go down, right? In Title Update 3 and 4, the buff was something you had to really play around, right? You, you, it wasn't just a free pass to kill everyone, because in Title Update 5, that's what it is. Kill one guy super fast before they can react. Carry the buff into the second player. Kill the third guy because you're just invincible at that point. And maybe pop a mech kit if you have time and kill the fourth guy. The chem launchers are so strong that that basically eats into the damage mitigation and basically reduces the damage taken at the end. So you can survive. And the bloodsucker proc was giving you 25%. This is now title update 5 I'm talking about. And, you know, once you kill the first player, you get your 25% armor. You start taking damage to your blue armor, that which is basically all you're going to take to kill... The second guy, if the third guy was shooting you at the same time, he's gonna that's gonna go into your regular white armor, but then your chem launch is healing you and eating into your you know mitigated damage. So it's just the synergy that which happens in Title Update 5 is a beautiful thing, but it is too strong. I think the damage mitigation is what needs needed to be brought down, and perhaps a little bit of the damage buff, or just swap the damage buff to a headshot damage buff so that you know it takes skill to utilize, it's not just get one keep you know free cheap kill and run through a whole team because you know, that that game design is just simply wrong but in title update 4 it was something you had to really think about it wasn't a free pass and i think the time to kill is what kept the eagle bearer balanced because i'll say it right now the eagle bearer was balanced in the title update 4 the rifle build that i made was stronger my hybrid ar rifle build was stronger than just a, a standard ar you know eagle bearer build the shotguns were still too tap in you. All right, the Eagle Bearer was was strong, very strong. But I mean, I used to I went for six weeks without an Eagle Bearer from Title Update Three. I was using a P4 with an Emesis. I had a good build, don't mind, don't worry. You know, I had a good build to, to to carry me, you could say. And I and I do believe that over the course of Title Update Three, up until I got my Eagle Bearer in Title Update Four, very early on, about a week or two in, 
I only lost, what well, you know, a handful of gunfights because I felt the other guy had an eagle bearer. Other reasons I lost gunfights were, you know, the guy got a burst on me, he got, he got the head start, um, I was outnumbered and such and such. Only a few times did I really lose because he had extra rounds and was hip firing and dealing more body shot damage than me, etc, etc. Or he had a buff, you know. Because I knew I wasn't stupid, you know. When you see a guy on the buff, you, you don't fight them, right? <laughs> you you don't face trade. You If a guy with a buff tries to shoot you, you should be avoiding combat. Get behind your team, get around the corner, just strafe on a, on a cam launcher, whatever. Make him waste his buff time on a player that isn't going to receive much damage. But, you know, by moving. And so when you divert his attention to somebody else, that's when you shoot him. Because each damage, all damage that you deal will be done at the end, unless he's healing a lot and, you know, eating into the damage mitigation with healing. You want to obviously play like that. But, you know, a lot of people don't understand this. They go, oh, they face tank with the eagle buff. Oh, the eagle bear is too strong, bro. Like, the guy's glowing red. Don't fucking face tank him. It's plain and simple. So obvious. Don't do it. Except people do it all the time. So... I do have a couple of suggestions I think that will be very good in helping maintain the balance um, of the assault rifles versus other weapons and the assault rifles against each other. I do want to do a more in-depth video talking about the assault rifles, you know, low RPM versus high RPM, but let's just stick to the Eagle Bearer, the P P P4, and let's lump all the rest of the ARs in one category, okay, because most of them aren't really viable. I mean, everything's viable in, in Titan, but it's 6 PTS at the moment, because the time to go is ridiculously fast. But, um, yeah. Number one, keep the Eagle Bearer nerf at 15%, but also nerf the custom P4, or whichever P4 variants are still outliers. What that will do is put the, e the P4 in line with the other assault rifles, because right now it does deal so much more burst damage, all right? and that it does render most other assault rifles re irrelevant, which is why before the Eagle Bearer, the P4 was the weapon of choice. I mean, of course, if you had a bad P4 and a good at something else, like I did. I had a very good MK16 in uh, title update 3, title update 2, I think, a little bit as well. And that's what I used for ages. I was like, oh, yeah, this gun's great. I like not using the, the meta weapon. It's great. And that was until I found a really good P4. And then I realized how bad the balance was. I had a difference of 7 8% burst, which turned out to end up being about 10 15% burst. It's, you can't go into a gunfight at that much of a disadvantage you, you just can't do it so if we nerf the p4 all right then i think that the eagle bear will still be right an exotic strong weapon but the other weapons will still be viable that's one way i think we can deal with the situation at least for now the other situation is we don't touch the rest of the assault rifles but we instead don't nerf the Eagle Bearer as much as we do not to the base damage i think that the base damage should be nerfed by at least five percent no more than 10%. The damage mitigation should be brought down to either 50% or maybe 65%. Basically, um, if the, at the moment the mitigation is at 80% max if you get your stacks right, yeah? That means that you have five times your, your, your toughness, right? That's basically a blue from the early days of Division 1. If we bring that down to 75, that'll be a times four level of toughness. If you bring it to 66%, that's a times three. 50%, that's a times two. Now, 50% may be a little too weak for the mitigation aspect. But remember, you're also getting a damage buff. And you have to take into consideration the time to kill has been lowered once again. The PvP modifier, as it stands in the PTS, has been lowered. I mean, well, the modifier increased, time to kill lowered again. We, I mean, I was hitting 115k with a P4 to the head on a breadbasket buff. 115k with a P4. We used to hit 25k if we were lucky with a P4 in title update 3. Now we're hitting four times that? Three times that on average? Come on, man. This is getting quite ridiculous. The time to kill cannot be this fast in a, in a division game. It causes too many problems with desync and the fact that we're fighting players from Asia and the further reaches of, of Russia. It's not like I'm fighting people in the UK and France and Netherlands, like Call of Duty. Like, that's okay go further than that you start getting into real you know start running into real problems so i think that a happy medium may be something along the lines of 66 percent damage mitigation or 75 being 75 is too small let's put 60 percent damage mitigation i think we'll be just fine with that amount um and then i would also nerf the damage gain from 35 percent to 30 percent you see this is what we need to do small changes small nerfs not straight up getting out your cleave and 
butchering the whole thing. Nah, man, just nerf everything a little bit. 5% base damage nerf, 5% damage mitigation nerf, 5% damage bonus nerf. And then see where we go from there. If it's still too strong, then we then we do another wave, like a hotfix uh, nerf. There's no need to butcher things so hard every time. Please. we got to stop this, man, because people are spending so much time grinding. I, I've heard stories, people grinding 30, 40, over 100 times, and they still don't get the Eagle Bearer. I mean, I mean I'm not going to lie, I do find it very hard to believe, because I got, I got mine on the third go. I mean, I didn't get mine, it was given to me by... Irish brother and I am very thankful to that I mean I'm, I may have had to complete it a bu whole bunch of times but you know the percentage chance is supposed to be 10% but people are still spending 30 40 times grinding for an eagle bearer and um, they may not be able to perform several every week maybe just you know you know two or three every week I mean maybe they're running the the, the grade without the the box at the end which is why their the chances aren't so high but you know it is it's unfair for people to grind so much and for, for many people for those people you know not necessarily pvp focused the pve crowder they got nothing left to do the only thing they really had of any challenge was the, was the you know the raid i mean they spent all this time playing the raid and now they finally get their eagle bearer and now it's dog shit just back to the p4 so if we can you know over the course of the pts voice our concerns provide other options alternatives to just a straight 15 percent butchering of the eagle bearer i'm not saying that you know i'm not one of those salty guys you know relying on my eagle bearer don't nerf my eagle bearer bro i just want to kill everybody with a really good overpowered gun no i'm not one of those guys man but small nerfs and adjust again if necessary this is the way you nerf thank you guys for watching if you guys like it like blah 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 you know what the deal is in a bit